evening. I want to start with a sort of sad story. I recently went through a pretty heavy experience. I, um, I had to come out to my parents. Um, I sat them down. I said, Mum, Dad, look, I've been thinking about this for a really long time, and um, I'm pretty sure I'm a hipster. <laughs> And there was a really big pause, and then Mum just started crying. And she just said, this is all your father's fault. He was a hipster too. And that's true, because I've seen photos of his beard from the 80s. Dad took it a little bit better. He tried to blame my optometrist. A boy so young has no business with frames that bold. I try not to blame myself. But I grew up in Melbourne. We'd have games of Scrabble only using words that describe disappointing coffee. Insipid. 23 points. So at the end of the day, my parents did take responsibility because it's a parent's job to keep kids away from danger. And being a hipster is fucking dangerous these days. Hipster hating in Australia is a trend that keeps getting more and more popular. It's like discrimination Zumba. <laughs> And I get the anti-hipster thing, because when hipsters get together, there are so many tall, skinny, white guys with glasses, it's like the easiest game of Where's Wally ever. <laughs> There's Wally. There's Wally. They're all fucking Wally. <laughs> if you haven't seen much hipster hating, uh, it ranges in extremity from things like the Bondi hipsters video about FBI radio, uh, to News Limited op opinion pieces like 10 signs you're an inner city tosser. Now, I'm not here to defend hipsters. I don't want to, no one wants to. <laughs> It'd be like listening to Marie Antoinette trying to defend her decadent lifestyle. But a hipster Marie Antoinette wouldn't say let them eat cake. She'd say let them eat a modern twist on classic Mexican, which you buy from a food van run by a friend of a friend who works in advertising but doesn't really like it because it hampers their innate creativity. <laughs> So I'm not here to defend them. But if the internet continues its trend, its current trend of anti-hipster videos, soon they're gonna outnumber porn. And no one wants that. So I'm here to share with you the secret to actually getting rid of hipsters. Stop hating them. Hating hipsters is the only way young middle-class white people like me can feel like a minority. And that's exactly what we want. It's like we can finally relate to Rosa Parks, except I'll never catch a bus. What I'm saying is if you really want to fuck with hipsters, embrace everything we do. Stop renting your house, start renting a space. Throw out your old clothes and buy new clothes that look like old clothes. Get a bike, roll some cigarettes, and date someone who looks exactly like you. I know what you're thinking, hipsters are crafty. If we embrace unpopular things, then won't hipsters just embrace popular things in an ironic way? Yes, they will, so you keep them on the run by embracing irony. If you don't know how, just think of an awful band you hated 10 years ago, like the Backstreet Boys. Now, buy a ticket to their reunion concert. You've just mastered irony. It sounds like hell, I know, it it'll work. And if they retreat to a small bar that only serves Mad Men era cocktails, then you leak that bar to the Daily Telegraph. All of a sudden, this tiny bar is surrounded by a hipster's mortal enemy, the line. No one knows why, but hipsters will never queue. <laughs> what I'm saying is if you laugh at a, if you find yourself laughing at hipster parody videos, and you're thinking, this will show them, you're wrong. You're just making it worse. If you embrace hipsters, we won't be able to run forever. It's hard to run in these jeans. <laughs> and if you think you're not capable of embracing hipsterness, remember, you're the ones that a poorly advertised live recording of a political satire podcast broadcast on community radio. You're all just a trip to the optometrist away. <laughs> Uh, now, FBI's been uh, been the subject of those Bondi hipster guys. You guys know the Bondi hipsters, the guys from YouTube? You guys know those guys? Well, they've been making fun of FBI. They're ripping into us. Uh, if you've missed it, here's a, a sample. I mean, the only station that I listen to is FBI because nobody listens to it. Yeah, that's so true. Like, FBI is so underground that they actually have to do a campaign once a month just to stop the place going under. <laughs> Welcome back to FBI Radio, giving less shits than ever before. If you're out there, you know, on a lazy Sunday night, giving five shits, I want you to give three. If you're giving 12 shits, then that's just way too much. That's terrible, that's terrible. I think that's a little unfair portrayal of FBI. What do you guys think? Is that a bit unfair? Heath? Uh, well, you know, FBI's had it too easy for too long. Yeah. <laughs>
with your golden microphones and all this sort of stuff. Oh no, sorry, that's the other one. Yeah, that's Sanderland's punk. You know, the guy who eats human babies for breakfast. <laughs> that's why he's in hospital, he's got indigestion. Yeah. This, this little pushing hand against his tummy. The first time in a male's history. Yeah. <laughs> what, about, uh, what about hipsters in general? How would you like to see them die out, Scott? Um, well, I think the worst way for hipsters to die out, like any subculture, is for them to be subsumed into mainstream culture. You know? Oh, wait, I've got a joke now. Um, yeah. And also, their skinny jeans will give them deep vein thrombosis. Yes. Dash, what have you got? I'd like to see some gears put on their bike and then watch them shudder with indecision. <laughs> As they try to pick a gear to go uphill. Rational, 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 rational,